Hey everybody, I just wanted to come on and say Merry Christmas, um, Feliz Navidad. Uh, I'm just so excited to share with you the cards that we've made for this series. We're just going to go through real quick. So this was uh, the first one that I shared with you and you can see on this one I kind of moved it over to the right. And then on this one, we did the stamping of the snowflakes, did some heat embossing, and then we used the washi tape for the ribbon. And then on this one, I really love that marble card, the marble paper, I should say. Yeah, that one was probably one of my favorites. And it was nice and simple, but you could still add sequins, you could still add nouveau drops to those. Um, that was the day two. Now this one, I wind up doing six of, and these are the ones that I used for my um, crafting group. So that way everybody had pretty much the same style, just different sentiments. So um, I just grabbed stickers from, you know, within the sticker book for the different sentiments. And then this one, this one was the one I think I had the most issues with, with the Nouveau drops. You can, I think you can see there, like the one down in the bottom left, it kind of got a little wonky. And see, I got some Nouveaux on the back. I don't, I think what I wind up doing is I actually um, hole punched that one and put it into my December daily, just so I would have um, one of the cards that I did in my December daily, since it was already, you know, kind of messed up. And then on this one, we did three using the circles for the sentiments which was really fun. That was the one that we turned the sketch on its side. And then this one, it's so pretty in person, really and truly, that glittered, the embossed tree was super pretty. And of course, you know, in looking at stuff, there are things I would do different if I did this one again. Um, I would put a, a mat underneath that centerpiece that I put down. So that's why I like going through them, to, to look at what I like, what I didn't like. Um, I like the black with the rose gold sentiment on the one stuff like that now this one was fun because we took the chipboard piece not chipboard but the ephemera piece and put it on top of the same shape um bobble and gave it a little bit of dimension now these were probably my favorite and i would do this one again for sure i just loved using the dainty gold thread and just the the sentiment I just think it came out super, very, super nice. Nice and it was really simple to do. Now this one was fun with the music notes and of course more of that poinsettia paper. And then we used the glitter Nouveau drops instead of using the black. And then on this one, we did one with the piece and one without. And I used the piece on the one where it didn't have the word, but I just thought that um, bobble was so cute with the word love written on it that I didn't want anything covering it up. And then, of course, we used the Nouveau drops on that as well. Alrighty. So we're just going to put those two aside. And then the last one we did, which was this one, we did the square card. Try to zoom out a little bit. We used the square card. And on this one, we made it all one layer, kind of just, you know, glued everything on top of each other. But on this one, I had a lot of fun using the foam. And we used fun foam. And it helped give dimension to each of the layers. So that way it has a little bit more interest. And like I was saying in all the videos, if and when you want to do that, I would do it whenever you're hand delivering because you don't want to pay the extra for shipping and you also don't want it to get smushed through the mail, like if it has to go through the machines and stuff. So sorry for the mess around my area, but I just wanted to show you this is the pile of cards that the video just made the series really just made because each one I either did two cards or like you saw on some I did three um I think that one I did like six but I knew I was making them for my uh, craft group that gets together so 
yeah, this was a fun series. Um, this is the paper collection. Um, these are the scraps that I have left. And you can see, I think I tried to use one of each of the sheets. Except for that one, because I was thinking that would be really cute for a layout. But this one was probably my favorite sheet. And then this is all I have left. So one of each. And then I still have two of the uh, cut apart sheets which could make a whole series of cards as well. So there's so much fun with this. And this whole collection really speaks to me because I love pink and black and then with the rose gold accent. So I may be using it again next year. <laughs> I can't make any promises. But I just, I'm so grateful that you guys, you know, join me for this series, just showing you what's left. There's still a ton of stickers. Um, for the sticker books, so, and then, oh, I forgot I got in this extra collection, um, with the papers, and then I want to say it has a sticker sheet as well at the end. Yeah, you got the cut apart, and then some more of the baubles, but these are, oh yeah, that's right, these are the double-sided, and then some of these, like, see here, that, um, kind of like it's fractals or it has the foil the gold foil but in the 48 paper pad it didn't have any foil so there's some that has foil and some that don't so that's why I got it <clears throat> so once again here are some close-ups of all the different cards thank you guys so much I hope you enjoy your day with your families and I hope to see you guys with our next video Merry Christmas everybody